If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. and welcome back to a brand new day of road to tg worlds 2020 thank you so much for joining me today we are going to continue with our quick expanded coverage um, of some of the decks that we saw in collinsville mainly because i'm really bored of standard uh, we do have the limitless online series qualifier tournament this weekend so that should be pretty fun and it is standard format but i really felt like playing something different and I do have a special place in my heart for this irritating pole in Wildplume after it helped me get second place in um, second place in Australia and the first Oceana International held back in March 2017, which is coincidentally pretty much around the same time I started doing Tailmon full time. So I really want to feature Agro with the no items and no supporters blockade attack. This deck got second place at the Collinsville Regionals, just defeated by um, Trev Noir. You have supporter block, you have item block, you have basic block with Disgusting Pollen, you also have healing with Fragrant, fragrant Flower Garden, and you have um, offensive pressure <coughs> with Massive Bloom. And you have, of course, Rowlet and Alolan Executor for the super growth attack, which lets you evolve just like if you had Forest of Giant Plants in play, where basically you get to bench an Oddish and immediately evolve it. We have Tabulele for support, we have Bridget, we have Stevens to set up, we have a bunch of basic searching cards, we have Power Plants, we have Stadiums, we have our Computer Search, we have Syndicate Link to recover the supporters that we do end up using and get back draw cards. And we have Faba to attack special energies, we have Guzma to mess with our opponent's setup, we have Plumeria, we have Flurgrant, we have all sorts of really cool cards in the deck in order to be extra, extra annoying to our opponents. So, let's jump into the ladder, see if we can continue our win streak now. If with the previous decks we had a lot of situations where our opponents would just concede quickly after looking at our setup, this will probably happen a lot more with this particular deck. You know, with this particular deck. So, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens here. Alright, so probably up against Picaron. We'll see. We do lose the coin flip. Um, don't mind going second with this deck. Um, don't mind going first either. Though you are a little bit more prone to getting dunked when you do go first. But going second with this deck is actually pretty cool because... Yeah, because there's two, two benefits to it. Yeah, number one is, I'm not going to bench the Oddish, I'm just going to bench this, and I'm going to play the Power Plant, but I don't want my Oddish to get costed and KO'd. Um, so there's two benefits, well, going second is really good with the deck, because then your opponent has a first turn of no supporter, right, and then a second turn, assuming you draw the right things, a second turn of no items at all. So they get supporters, but no items, so, and for the rest of the game, obviously, right, so... Um, all right. All right. 
We do see the shame made my opponent had the immediate power plants counter, which is understandable. I tried working, I know there was a lag with the video and my voice. Um, if this continues, I might just need a new webcam, honestly. Um, it seems like the more time I record, then the more, the bigger the delay, right? In the beginning, it's not as bad, and then it eventually gets really bad. Um, so hopefully that won't be the case. But, um, but if that's the case, then I might have to get a new one. And we might have no face cam videos for um, for some time. Okay, so my friend will great catcher my Alolan egg. I'd be very, very surprised if he manages to knock me out on the first turn. Like, on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of surprises, because of the Electro Powers, probably on an 8, right? So that's two Shamans gone. That's the Supporter being played. No Battle Compressor found. Well, there's the first one. Well, let me think. Um, right now, it's 150, right? Ooh, we're gonna see Silvali GX instead of Zorak for this deck. Um, right now, it's 150 plus the Electro Power 180. So, still needs three more. Take, no, no, not three more, sorry. It's 20 times. So, 180 still needs five more. Um, Night Marchers, now with that Battle Compressor, it's not looking completely out of the question, right? Definitely not looking completely out of the question here. And if it happens, like, what could I have done? I couldn't not bench the dude. I could have benched the Oddish instead of this guy, um, and that wouldn't have allowed him to great catcher my my attacker, right? Um, this quick will you would assume it's gonna be for the Dene. No, it's for Joltik, so that means we see the Joltik prize, we see another Electro Bower, and just not quite enough. 50 damage short. That was um, very close, right? Very, very close. And there's one card in my opponent's hand. Will it be the Silvali? Um, that'd be pretty sad if it is. Um, thank you so much, Omar Ohana, for the follow, for the subscription on YouTube. Okay, so what do I do? I could just heal, right? Like, is it bad to just heal and wait a turn when my opponent has one card in hand? I don't think it is. I think this is fair, right? I think it's fair. One card in hand. Probably is the Silvali TX. I hope it isn't. It's an M. Okay. It's an M. That's fine. This means this guy is safe. My opponent only takes one prize card. We get a refresh of the hand. I'm pretty okay with this. Pretty, pretty okay with this. And we can actually cycle through the AZs for this guy, so that's pretty okay. I'm gonna see a PS Seeker. So my opponent's playing it really well, right? Playing the items preemptively, we see a teammate. Even though I probably won't be taking a knockout anytime soon. I definitely won't be taking a knockout anytime soon. There's the Seal Valley finally. There's the Seal Valley. Alright. So my play next turn is probably to go evolve into the item lock wild bloom and go for a flare grunt. I think that seems reasonable. Uh, this guy only does 50 damage, which is not a big deal. I mean, it can attack this wild bloom, but meh. And technically, I do need the other wild bloom, right? Technically, I do need the other map, but I do have Execute to alleviate the computer search pressure, so that's really good. That is actually really, really good. Alright, we see a Dowsing Machine as well. Discarding a DC, that's... Oh my god. Is that a KO now? Alright, it's not, 
it's even less damage than before. So I generally think I just AZ again. <laughs> Right, and then I I should just not bench <laughs> the dude. Oh wait, I could have attached that and then evolved. Oh my god, that was very silly. I mean, well, it's fine. It's fine. I could have already evolved though, that's for sure. My opponent's really stretched. Okay, so now he chooses not to. He recognizes that he's also at risk of getting um Getting decked out himself. Alright. So I'm gonna net ball for another Oddish. I think that's a good call. And then, okay, first things first, I'm gonna propagate Cynthia Caitlin. That's really nice. You essentially get a free AZ back. And that's really good. Get back the AZ. Okay, I also get a free quick ball. Free, free, quick ball for another of these guys. Okay, so I do have all my glooms and I do have one of each. Vile Gloom in the deck. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and bench. I'm gonna go ahead and bench. I'm gonna go ahead and propagate as well. My opponent only has one DC left. That's really good news for us. Really, really good news. And I will go ahead and grab, what? A power plant, I guess? That seems reasonable. It could be Fava though. Uh, yeah, could be Guzma as well. Honestly, I think I like the Guzma. Because, yeah, like trying to think long term. Trying to think long term. My opponent is down 3 DC, so he has 1 DC left. So if I remove the 1 from the active, right, he might try to attach another one to the active to continue applying pressure. And then once he does that, a Guzma onto this guy should be the game winning uh, move, right? Should be the game winning move. All right. So we do get attacked. I will go ahead and Flare Grunt. I mean, I could do the Guzma plate this turn, though. Ah, uh, it's fine. I could have done the Guzma plate this turn, though, that's for sure. Alright, now I'll Super Growth. Why am I powering up this instead of Valplum? I don't know. Like, I'm fairly sure I, I win this game no matter what, but I should have been powering up this Valplum, not this guy. Oops. That's a small mistake on my part. So, does my, is my opponent holding the other DT? Even if he is, I don't think it's a big deal. A Guzma would be a big deal. But the Guzma is in the discard pile, and we simply see a pass. Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pick this guy up, promote this guy, and I'm actually gonna attach here, and I'm just gonna pass. Right? No need to attack. I'm not threatened by anything, my opponent will deck himself out very, very quickly. And, I mean, I can attach, and then Stevens. Yeah, because why not? And then I can grab AZ, I can grab Fava and Fava. Actually, that makes a lot more sense. Just follow away this energy and follow away whatever comes up next. Does my opponent play a second Kuzma? I doubt it, right? I certainly doubt it. And we pass. I could even evolve into a third Pile Bloom. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Like, I could literally just do anything here and win. I could honestly just do anything and win right here. There's the DCE, so we are going to see a last attack. We are going to see a Lysander as well. So that's definitely annoying. But so two, but that's gonna be the fourth DCE though. The fourth DCE gone. So it's not the biggest of deals. So I'll go ahead and Fava. 
And we should be seeing a concession after this. Um, this guy evolves into the item blocking problem. That's what I meant by setting up another one last turn. The Lysander did happen, but that's okay. That is a okay. All right. <laughs> and we see a Juniper. Obviously, there's absolutely no humanly possible way for my opponent to take four prize cards, and we won by doing zero, zero damage. All right. All right. So, let's find another game. Yeah. It's all about slow and steady wins the race with this deck. Um, you can sometimes be hard pressed to win games if um, if you don't uh, if you don't apply pressure, or sometimes you can just get aggroed out of the game. Um, in terms of like they apply too much pressure and you're never able to stabilize, but eventually, eventually you should be able to to get there. Yeah, basically to get there. All right. Right. So my opponent does decide to go first. I am completely okay with that, and with this hand too. And we see the Ultra Necrozma, alright. We see the Ultra Necrozma Garbodor deck, of course. So the question is, does my opponent find a tool to attach and fails the trench mail and simply passes? Alright, that is really good news. So to start off, we're gonna go ahead and syndicate lane away the execute, right? No reason not to. We do find this guy, that's really good news. And I am going to immediately evolve into the item lock, Vile Plume. However, I should take advantage of my computer search right here, so I will. Uh, I definitely, definitely will. I won't be needing the Velelva anytime soon, that's a late game card. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and that Ultra Grossman is gonna be very annoying, right? I should probably just power up the Oddish, honestly. I'll go ahead and Super Growth, evolve this guy, and just item lock my opponent for now. And then afterwards, we will focus on the no damage from basic Pokemon, because now my opponent cannot play a Floatstone. So we do see a Juniper. What? Unless my opponent top deck that Floatstone, which would be very unfortunate. Um, but honestly, like, it's more likely that he top deck Trainer's Mail, right? Because why wouldn't you have played the Trainer's Mail the previous turn? Especially seeing this. So, very, very weird. Not to say erroneous or wrong decision from my opponent right there. I'll go ahead and just um, place in the gate lane, get more resources into my hand, hopefully find that energy. Not quite, not the end of the world. Um, I'll go ahead and evolve here. I'm saving this to counter my opponent's stadium, and then we'll just go ahead and super growth into the other vile plume. All right. So I'm not super worried about what my opponent can do here. We see an N, that's okay. That is certainly okay. All right. Okay, so we see Tapu Lele. Huh, maybe I should have powered up this guy. So I don't have N's resolve, I mean Steven's. <laughs> Steven's Resolve, not Ant's Resolve. Steven's Resolve anymore, so I will go ahead and grab that. And... I'll just play it, right? I really should have just powered up the active, honestly. I might just do that. Um, 
And I could also just go for Fabas. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm all over the place, I don't have a real strategy, and that's because I haven't played with this deck too, too, too much since a long time ago. Everyone just keeps benching stuff though. Which I find pretty, pretty weird. We do see a Guzma, that's okay. Does he have the stadium and the energy to KO me? No, he does not. Alright, so we will take that, right? We will take that. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and search for the other energy. I think that's what makes the most sense. Energy, and then let's grab Faba. Let's grab another Guzma just in case my opponent plays down the second Guzma. Like, I need my Guzma for his Guzma. And then I have Syndicate Lane to recover the Guzma, so we should be good. We really should be pretty okay. Yep, we just see a pass. So let's go ahead and target down the Garb. That's the only thing that can potentially, potentially threaten me at this point. In terms of, like, somehow my opponent shuts off the item lock and then he goes ahead and attaches the tool. Which could be Wolfen, right? That is how you would do it. That is exactly how you would go ahead, or you would go about it, you would go about doing that. Okay, I will start attaching to this guy though. I will get my first place card, and it seems like this match we will win through prizes, which is really good, right? It's really, really good. See another Oddish, that's potentially useful in the future. Potentially useful in the future. We see a Travish, we see a Teammates. Um, there's no risk of Trash Challenge, but the Acid Spray could be very annoying if my opponent is running any sort of. Um, any sort of um, grass energy, I mean psychic energy, it doesn't seem like he is though. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the kit lane, I'll start thinning stuff. Like... Uh, like this second person. And I will grab the Guzma back. Don't quite find an energy. Um, I'll save this in my hand for now. I'll just downer shock. No KO though. <laughs> Ten short of the KO. And yeah, if I'd been if I if I were simply attacking with the thing, my opponent would have been able to delete an energy this turn, but that wouldn't have been a big deal, I feel. My opponent will probably try to go Guzma, Stadium, Double Dragon, right? You would assume that is his play. But if he didn't do it last turn, like why wouldn't he? I don't know. Say Gloom, that's fine. We know that the other Gloom is in the deck. We see an Ultra Gross Mom. And we see a pass. So let's just go ahead and bench. Downer shock. Then having the Gloom will be pretty nice because then I get to look at my opponent's hand every other turn probably. See what he's up to, see what he teammates for. Which he teammates for two cards and then he hasn't played a single card yet, so I don't know exactly what he's planning. I really don't. And there's a victory, yeah. So you can see how like this deck is a very oppressive deck. Yeah, you set up this lock with the Vaplum, the anti-basic Vaplum, and even sometimes the Executor. And you can just outright win games by by setting up the item lock. Yeah, because in expanded most decks are reliant on the item lock. So yeah, not a bad um, not a bad couple of games to showcase the uh, the powerfulness of the deck. Um, big props to Colton Day, I believe who was the person who got second place in the Collinsville tournament. Um, if I were playing an expanded event of some sort online, I would probably be playing this deck just because it's fun to play and I feel like a lot of people will make mistakes and not play optimally. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support in these times. I hope you are all staying safe, keeping your distance, and I will see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks so much and until next time.
Bye.